Oh, I'm devoted and hated. I recorded the matrix. I just loaded the bases. And you know I'ma make it. Yo. What is good, my fellow YouTube fam? It's your boy Aaron speaking. And today, I'm talking about Big Sean, bro. I had a little talk with somebody through Instagram on how he thought Detroit 2 was really good. And it was, it was solid. It was okay. I was telling him how I felt about Big Sean. And I honestly, I feel like nobody's really talking about this. I feel like Big Sean... How do I explain it? I feel like Big Sean has the potential and, and he could be top five in the game currently, in my opinion. I think he can be that good when he really tries when he really wants to bro it's just the thing that holds him back to me he doesn't really have a classic album or he just has too many duds bro too many duds it's just not consistent it's just not consistent bro in my opinion i think his best body of work is his detroit mixtape from 2012 i i truly think that's his best project i feel like from beginning to end musically sonically lyrically it's just the best in my opinion like what was it hall of fame forgettable forgettable bro there's a couple songs like you know like uh that song mona lisa i used to like uh beware was cool i don't know it, it just really wasn't that good in my opinion you know like he has some dope features but then even then some of his features are just some of his lines are just corny bro I feel like some of his bars are just cheesy as fuck. Like his verse on Nas's album was okay. I mean, some corny ass bars. I think he's like, I'm not your ex, I'm your ecstasy. So that was all right. <laughs> like his feature on Lil Wayne's album Funeral was, was okay. It was pretty good. It's enjoyable. You know what I mean? But I feel like as a lyricist, I'm really trying to figure out, is he underrated? That, that's, that's pretty much my question. Is Big Sean underrated lyrically? Maybe as an artist, I'm not sure. I feel like as an artist, overall, he has he has the ability to be just as big or respected. I don't want to say Kendrick because he's like on his own level, but he can be up there with the with the Jay Coles, maybe with the Earl Sweatshirt to the world, even Tyler. I don't know, because I, I feel like Tyler lyrically, when he really wants to, he can be top five in my opinion. I think I said it before when he really wants to rap. When he's on his real gritty, real rap shit, Tyler, his flows, his... Anyways, this is it's a Big Sean video, bro. But I, I, went, I went again and I listened to Detroit 2 again today. And it's a little better, actually. It, it's better than my first listen. I'm not gonna lie. I only really heard it like once or twice. And I kind of just left it. I never really went back to it. But I heard it again. It's a little better than what I remembered, in my opinion. Like, it's definitely a little more enjoyable than I thought. There are some dope ass songs on there. And then a lot of people say it's Dark, what is it, Dark Sky Paradise? Dark Sky Paradise, right? Uh, yeah, Dark Sky Paradise. I, I loved this album when it came out. I, I really did. I remember I was in, well, like my second year of college and I had bio class and I used to listen to this every morning on my way to that shit. But yeah, a lot of songs on there are fire. You know, like, of course, I Don't Fuck With You was a pretty big hit, but I don't really go back to that that much. Um, Blessings is cool. All Your Fault is probably the best song on that tape. Um, Win Some, Lose Song is cool. Stay Down, I know. Deep, Low Key might be my favorite song too. Lil Wayne's verse, they both body that shit. One Man Can Change the World, Goosebumps, bruh, makes you tears. An amazing song, you know? But there's some there's some skips on that, you know? Still, there's some duds on that. Even, don't get me started on that Metro Boomin' tape, bruh. Bruh, the song's so good. It's probably, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I, don't, I heard a lot of shitty songs, bro. I heard a lot of shitty. I'm not talking about SoundCloud, certain SoundCloud songs or your local rapper from your neighborhood songs. I'm talking about actual mainstream artists. The song So Good is absolute diarrhea, monstrosity, rotten, anus, milk, dumpster, fire. That song is garbage, bro. I think that's one of the worst songs I've ever heard in my life. I'm sorry. If you like that song, I'm sorry, bro. Wow, that song is so bad. And then you got a Metro Boomin' tape, and the shit is mid? Come on, bro. That's hella disappointing, man. Finally Famous is a good tape. Finally Famous is not bad at all. High, an amazing, amazing song. You know, My Last Great. You got some bangers here. I do it. But then you got that dance song, the ass, ass, ass. It's like certain songs like that, I just can't take them seriously, bro. I know most... 
a lot of rappers, they all, they all try to make that one club song or party song and shit like that shit. Even Nas tried doing it. Uchi Wally and shit like that. Every rapper does it. The I Decided album, I don't know. It's been a long time since I heard that. I gotta go back to it. I'll be honest. But I don't I don't remember me really liking it like that. I don't know, bro. I don't, I don't remember. It was some songs here and there, but it, none of his albums are really... I can't really listen to his albums from beginning to end, like, flawlessly, man. I can't. Like, he's got certain songs, like, like the song No More Interviews. Amazing song. Amazing song. Lyrically, everything about it is fire. Big Sean's first quarter freestyle. Amazing. One of his best songs ever. One of his most lyrical tracks, bro. His fourth quarter song. Amazing. <laughs> like, he really... Big Sean has the potential to be that good. He really does. And it just is disappointing. I feel like nobody really talks about it. So I do feel like sometimes he can be underrated. Sometimes, bro. This first quarter freestyle is amazing, bro. I fly through the Atlantic and just like a know-it-all, I always got the upper hand. And, For, and then the fourth quarter song, bro. When I'm in the zone, they won't tackle me, nigga. I touch down in the city. A fucking walking target still. Now, you, got, you guys got to hear this song, bro. It's, it's amazing. And, like, you know, I read the comments in a lot of these videos. Like, somebody said, I swear, Big Sean's the most underrated mainstream rapper in the game. This and his Detroit mixtape shows he has good-ass potential to be one of the greatest. He just got to continue playing his cards right. I can't, I can't explain it better. I couldn't explain it better. He has the ability to be a lyrical genius, bro. When he wants to be. When he wants to be, you know? But uh, that's pretty much all I have to say about that. I, I really want to know you guys' opinion on this. Is Big Sean underrated as an artist, lyrically? Let me know in the comments, fam. I'll check you guys in the next video. Peace! <laughs>